Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with the freehand drawing tools in Adobe Illustrator. The first tool we're going to talk about is the pencil tool. Pencil tool allows you to draw as if you would draw on a piece of paper. And um, if you think you might be using this tool a lot, uh, you might want to buy a graphic tablet because it's very difficult to draw with a mouse. Uh, graphic tablets come with a pen and uh, it, it would be as if you're holding a pen and drawing on a piece of paper so it would be way way easier to draw. Uh, the options that are available here on the options bar uh, obviously are the color options. You can change the color of the stroke. Um, you can change the stroke size. And we also have some forms you can apply. And the head, head type. And that's about it. But the next tool that does the similar thing and allows you to do freehand drawing is the brush tool. It's also known as the paint brush tool. It does exactly the same thing. You can draw as if you would with a pencil. Uh, the options available here are exactly the same. The only difference is you can go to brushes panel here and you would have access to the brushes library. There are tons of brushes you can uh, choose from. Uh, for instance, uh, we can go to decorative brush, uh, brushes and I can go to text dividers and there's, there's a bunch of different brush heads here and yeah, some of them look really silly but you never know when they come handy <laughs> yeah these don't look that great but anyway uh, there's a ton of them here you can go through and experiment with um, the bristle brushes are quite useful though you end up with really nice brush heads here so give it a shot go through um, quite a few of these items here under the brush uh, library you may find interesting things um, let me get rid of this another thing that the brush tool does is if you have a shape I'm just gonna pick up the rectangle tool and draw a regular rectangle you can apply a brush head to it. Uh, I'm, I can go here on the options bar and choose something here. Or I can go back to the brushes panel, go to the library and choose something from here. I'm going to go to the borders and maybe go for dashed. So you see you can d apply different dashes again some of them do not apply to this particular thing I drew and uh, they do not look um, good but they they may come handy one day alright next thing you need to know about brushes is um, how to change the head size easily so at this point if I go back to the brush tool this is the head size you can increase the head size or decrease it here but a, a shortcut that I would like to teach you is super super useful uh, you can use the square brackets on the keyboard and increase and decrease the head size of the brush head so the left square bracket will decrease the head size and the right square bracket will increase the head size and this will come super handy the last tool I'm going to talk about here is the blob brush blob brush does not draw a path it actually draws a filled area it draws a shape so let me demonstrate it. 
like this is not a path it's the whole shape that it actually created and also when it's selected you can still draw over it and it will combine the new shape with the old shape and creates a new single item so there you have it pencil tool brush tool and blob brush are three freehand br uh, drawing tools in Adobe Illustrator they do come handy so um, please practice with all these um, new tools and have a great time thank you for watching